Hello and welcome to the Reboot Speedrunning tutorial. This is level 13, Floating Point Park. This level is very cycle-based, there are a lot of moving platforms, and we want to catch all of them right now, so we're going to get right to it. First, turn around, jump to this stone circle path, and continue on here. This level has four main paths. Uh, three of them have tears, two, or all four of them have keys. We're starting with the path that does not have a tear. This is also the level that I've been suggesting we get the antivirus for. If you're fast enough, you can just barely catch that cycle to get the first key. Uh, for the path with the first tear, it's the one with this pool. There are sort of landmarks that, uh, that I use to distinguish between the paths. The first one is Stone Circle, the second one is Pool, the third one is Sand Trap. Ooh, let's go. Caught that cycle. And then the fourth one is Wall. Anyway, I was going to say, this is the level that I've suggested we have the antivirus for. Oh, that's unfortunate. Uh, we can take out the turrets fairly easily with the blaster, but as you just saw, we're going to be falling a lot in this level. This level is incredibly difficult, and we want to conserve our ammo. So, rather than use the blasters to take out the turrets, I opt to use the antivirus to just neutralize them. Now, if I catch this, this might be the cycle I'm used to. I might be one behind. After this one, you turn left and continue around the path to see the stone wall there. And then jump down to this path. Ah. Now I have to wait on this. Um. It's not that bad if you do. You can jump to that and make the next jump as that platform's going towards you. Another thing I'll point out, you'll notice a Megabyte cutscene spawns right here. If you trigger this before getting to this tear, uh, it will delay this tear spawning and cost you... I forget exactly how much, 10 or 15 seconds. That was a pretty good effort at the level, though. I, I mostly caught the cycles that I go for. If you go down that path and you don't fall at all, you'll notice that you, you barely have to wait at all. It's very, very nice this way. Uh, before I finish the level, I will one more time run through the islands and their sort of landmarks to know which one they are. There's the Stone Circle Path. That's the first one we go down, the path with a key and no tear. Uh, you'll notice this hill on the left side. Just to the right of this hill is where the pool path is. That's the path with the first tear. On the left side of this hill, or behind this hill, that's the sand trap. That's the second tear and third key path. And then if we continue around this corner, that's where the wall island is with the final tear and final key. Uh, if it comes up, this level does have invincibility right here. Very easy to grab. If you're low on lives at this point, this extra life should be pretty easy to grab. The platforming in this level is very, very difficult, but beyond that, the level is not very hard. There isn't much combat you need to worry about. Uh, it's really just the platforming. If you have any other questions, feel free to ask in the comments below or ask in the Discord.